This video gives instruction on how to install Part 23 and Part 25 Millennium Crew Seats. We are using a bench test fixture so you can see adjustments, but most of these actions are completed in the plane. For initial installation on the tracks, the rollers need adjusted to their loosest setting. Placing the notch on the roller at 12 o'clock when the seat is upright gives you the loosest roller setting. Now we will load the seat in the plane. Once the seat is on the co in the cockpit and sitting on the tracks, slide the seat forward until the rear feet are over the scalloped areas. For some aircraft, you will have to angle the front of the seat up due to contact with the control column for the aft feet to be positioned above the scallops. Pull the lever that retracts the forward aft tracking pins and wiggle the seat around to get it to drop through the scallops. Once the aft feet are on the tracks, you can start to pull the seat aft. As you move the seat aft, the front feet will slide into place. Now you need to adjust the rollers. At each foot location, turn the adjusters to reduce the free play. Optimal adjustment occurs when free play is at a minimum and the seat still tracks smoothly. If you are adjusting and the seat becomes hard to track, you will have to back the roller off a little. Once, adjustment, once adjusted, the nut on the back side of the adjuster has to be torqued properly. You will need to put some amount of torque on the nut just to keep the roller in place while testing adjustment. Final torque needs to be 70 inch pounds. Torquing the nuts in the plane is difficult but must be completed or the rollers will loosen over time. After the four rollers are adjusted and all of the lock nuts are torqued to 70 inch-pounds, installation is complete.